What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So um, I'm starting off a new series where I go through all the tools contained in the toolset JHS Power Bar. In this video I wanted to talk about a tool that's often overlooked but I think has some great functions in it. Um, it's called AMS Soften. Um, before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, maybe you want to think about supporting the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so when you first install JHS Power Bar, you're going to see that you're going to have a whole bunch of different tools in here. And if you remember, all of these tools are some tools that come from some of the best extension creators, um, and they've all been kind of put into a single tool. Well, I wanted to go through and I wanted to make a video about each one of them, or close to each one of them, to kind of show you what they can do and how you can benefit from using them. So the first one I wanted to talk about was this AMS Smooth. Um, AMS Smooth and it is an extension from Anton S. So Anton is also the developer that's come up with uh, MS Physics, and I believe he came out with Clothworks as well. So he's created some very, very impressive extensions. And so I wanted to talk about this one because I think a lot of people think that it's kind of out of date and they don't necessarily need it. Um, and the reason for that is because we already have a soften smooth toolbar that's contained inside of SketchUp. And so if you remember what a soften or smooth toolset does is that'll come in here and that'll let you soften these edges um, so that these so that this face um, looks a lot smoother. So if I was to go in and go to view hidden geometry, you can see how all of the edges that make up this face are actually hidden in here, um, or softened. So you can see how if I select one of them and I go up to the entity info, you can see how this basically checks the box for soften and smooth. And so a lot of people think because of that we don't necessarily need this extension, and it's not really true. And the reason why is because this extension actually has some really valuable functions inside of it. And so to start off, it works a lot the same way as soften and smooth does in the sense that if I have a face like this one, for example, that has a whole bunch of like quad faces in it, um, I can use this slider to determine if I soften or smooth these edges. So you can see as I move this left or right, um, these edges are be either being uh, hidden or softened or unsoftened depending on the angle that we've selected. So that's pretty similar to the soften smooth toolbar um, that we already have. So the first thing I want to talk about though, and I'm going to take this to hidden line mode just so you can just see the edges in here and not the textures. The first thing I want to note about this is this tool actually lets you take these back to quads instead of these tries. So if you've ever taken a shape and softened it, using the soften smooth tool, you've probably noticed that you can't take that back to those nice looking quads anymore when you drag this back to the left. You can see how this unhides these back into tries instead of quads. Um, and so a lot of this is just kind of personal preference, but I definitely like the look of the quads in here a lot better than the tries. And so if I select this and I click on the button for reveal quadrants, this will actually take your shape back to the quadrant look that's in here when you initially draw this in your sandbox tools. So that's very cool to me just by itself, is just having the ability to go back to those quadrants. Um, so soften and smooth work kind of the same way, um, but there's a couple other things in here that I really like about this. So the first is there's an option in here to select either softening or not softening curves. And so that could be really useful, for example, if you have a sandbox that you're going to work on and you want to draw a road or something like that in here, well if I come in here and I draw this road along this face, coming in here and trying to add materials to this curve could be really frustrating. So it could take a lot of extra time. You don't necessarily want that. Well with this, if you were to select this object and you were to turn your angles up a little bit and have your soften coplanar checked, but then you uncheck the box for soften curves, you can see how this actually softens everything except your curves in here, which is great because then you could double click in here and you could quickly add a pair of materials I guess I better take this out of hidden line mode. You could quickly add materials to this like this. And one of the cool things about this is in addition to being able to do that, since this has the option for reveal quadrants, you can actually come back in here and you can bring your quadrants back just by clicking reveal quadrants. And you can see how there's a little bit of extra stuff in here due to the way the curves are made. But now if I wanted to come in with sandbox tools and adjust this, so if I needed this to kind of go up a hill, kind of like this, 
You can see how I'm able to quickly bring that in here and I can get my materials set before I ever have to edit my sandbox. And so another thing I really like about this tool is the ability to include sub instances. So one of the things you might notice is right now I have a group containing two different groups of faces in here. Well, if I click on this box, you can see how SketchUp's Soften Edges tool doesn't give me an option to come in here and edit these. So I would have to come in here and I would have to do each one individually. So you can see how I can do that by coming in here and clicking on either one of these if I really want to, but it's a little bit inconvenient. Um, on the other hand, this tool allows you to select this group of objects, check the box for include sub instances, and you can soften and smooth all of these edges without ever having to go inside the group. So that's really helpful as well if you have a lot of different things that you need to soften and smooth. You can also use this to bring back the quadrants really quickly in here if you want that. So it just gives you a lot better options for editing things. And then the other thing that's nice is let's say that you'd come come in here and you have a face like this one where you've selected two different or you've added two different materials in here. Well, one of the things that gets a little bit frustrating there is if you use SketchUp Soften Edges tool, you can see how these two materials aren't separated by an edge. So what that means is you can't come in here and edit each one of these individually. You can only add a group in here, or you, you can only add a material to this whole face at once. Now you could come in here and view the hidden geometry and then start selecting edges and trying to unhide things and it gets really kind of annoying, um, but you could definitely do that. Or instead, this has a great function called soften material dividers. And so what this means is let's say for right now, if you have softened material dividers selected and you run this, this does the same thing, where this is just one softened, uninterrupted face. However, if you uncheck the box for softened material dividers like this, you can see how th the edge between these different materials gets unsoftened, which actually divides this face by material. So now you can come in and you could edit one without editing the other. So it's a really fantastic way, especially when you start dealing with really complex things like this face over here, to separate those by material so you can edit those materials really easily. So another example is if you took this one and you use SketchUp Soften Edges, you can see how it just softens and smooths this whole thing again. However, if you use AMS Soften Edges and you uncheck the box for Soften Material Dividers and you update it, you can see how this gets broken out by different materials. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know about these functions? Do you find them helpful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.